The biggest part of that coal policy were the land categories. Category one, two, three, and four. That is what directly um, spelled out where and how, what method of mining you could do in the different categories and really spelled out exactly where the boundaries were on that. The, the importance of it was, there were a number of aspects about what made it so important. One was that it was developed as a result of extensive public consultation. At the time, there was something called the Environment Conservation Authority, and it conducted public hearings across the province to hear from Albertans about what they wanted to see and what their priorities were for the eastern slopes. The categories are the important part to get back in. Like we can, I think the starting point is to just get the old policy back in place and let's take a breath and redo things, do pro proper public consultation. It takes a long time to build trust and credibility and you can lose it overnight. And this government has not only lost, but betrayed the trust that we as Albertans gave them when we elected them. Words are just words. It's, it's all about action. And so if the government's going to regain trust from Albertans in how to manage our resources, they need to actually act and meet with us and talk with us and hear what we have to say, what our priorities are. And they removed the coal policy because they wanted more, because they had sold this to the Aussies a long time ago and they wanted more. And the Aussies and the coal industry wanted that policy gone. So the Kenny government said, it's out of here, come on in. Fundamentally, Albertans own the resources. We look to our governments to manage them on our behalf and we expect that we would be consulted when changes would occur to policies that have been in place that we've relied on for a long time. If they're going to be changed, then we would expect to be consulted. I can trust process. I can trust legislation. What I can't trust right now are the human beings involved with this. This issue about coal mining and what's happening in the eastern slopes is probably the most important issue uh, in our generation that, that we've ever faced. And it, it will determine who we are as Albertans going forward. That if we find a way to get from where we are now around this issue and the animosity and acrimony that's out there, if we can find a solution where everyone can support a vision for the eastern slopes that will last for the next 50 years, that'll be a real accomplishment. This is reality. This is the Elk Valley. This is the Grand Cache. This isn't made up, people. Like, I don't need to be a scientist and have a PhD in water toxicology. I don't need that. I can just look at what the results of this kind of mining activity are in our communities. And it exists today. It exists in Alberta in the Grand Cache area. It exists in BC in the Elk Valley. It's not made up. And I'll be damned if I'll be in this position or alive and not be fighting so that that does not happen on the Highwood River or in Alberta any longer.